All right, you guys, count them for me. How many you got? <laughs> when I say your name, say here. Uh, <laughs> Well, what's up guys? It's Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and Earl, Kelsey and I are headed to rebate a pig trap because I've been on the struggle bus. We should have caught these pigs at my buddy Lindell's place and I failed. It's my fault. Pigs have been in the trap and I haven't been able to catch them. So we're going to rebate the trap and uh, hopefully have some better luck. But anyways... Let's go. Got to stop by my buddy Lindell's place and check on my pig trap because two nights in a row, Two nights in a row now, we've had a trap full of pigs. The first night, 3.30 in the morning, slept right through it, woke up, they were already gone. Last night, I was like, okay, these pigs are going to come in about 3 o'clock in the morning, and we're going to catch them. They showed up at 1.30. And obviously my phone dinged at me and I didn't wake up. I didn't wake up until almost two. And here's what I saw. Okay, so you can see these pigs came in at like this 219 in the morning. Well, more on that in a little while, but uh, they did come in. And as soon as I, you know, opened up my eyes in my dead sleep, there was pigs in the trap, but I could tell, I knew there was a lot in this group. There was a bunch of pigs. Like I thought, 10 plus pigs so it didn't look like they were all in there and you can see one or two rubbing on the post and they're in and out in and out and my thoughts are well they just got there so they're all gonna pile in here and start eating because it looks like one mama sow and her last litter of pigs so they're all you know not full grown but they all look like her last litter big big litter of pigs i'm thinking they'll all get comfortable and mosey back in here so i'm gonna speed this up a little bit but uh as you can see in the video it's like one or two or you know start to leave and i'm thinking they're going to come back and this went on for like three minutes and it was just one right after the other they just slowly left the trap and uh didn't come back in that night but yeah you can see i mean they're relaxed they're rubbing on the poles and just hanging out so i'm thinking in my head we got them they're all going to be back in here in just a second nope so yes, I could have dropped the trap as soon as I woke up and caught about eight or nine pigs. I was in a dead sleep, I'm not gonna lie. I woke up and I could barely function. It took me about 30 seconds or a minute to be able to see the screen well enough to figure out eh, what was there and what wasn't. And by the time I did, I was like, man, I think there's two or three that are on the outside and they look comfortable. They're all gonna come right on in. Well, <laughs> they didn't and it was like, one at a time, just slowly but surely, they just kept leaving. So, there's still corn on the ground, but I'm gonna go ahead and dump a couple more buckets of feed out, just because I want to entertain these pigs in this trap for as long as we can tonight. So tonight will be night number three, and I think we should be able to catch these pigs. It's just a matter of whether or not I wake up when the phone dings and can get functioning and drop the trap in time. I'm so frustrated at myself. I these big this last night, oh, I didn't sleep worth a darn because I just kept thinking they're gonna come back, they're gonna come back, they're gonna come back. They never did. got the front seat you call shotgun Earl put Kelsey in the back I don't blame you 
She likes to come crashing in. Well, as you can see, the frustration continues with this group of pigs. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Should have caught them last night. <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure what happened with the trap. The safety pins were out. I can see that on the video. I have a sneaky suspicion that I know what I may have forgotten to do. Because the last time this trap was set, if you guys remember, was when Josh and I came over here and picked up a pig in the middle of the night i think i may know what i did wrong and if it's that's the case i'm really upset with myself but the good news is is we didn't really spook them off too bad because i dropped the trap at like 11 something whatever it was and then the pigs were back at like 4 a.m so we didn't spook them too bad So one thing, my sneaky suspicion, I did not do wrong. And that is when you lift this trap up with the winch cable, you've got your, your lifts, your cables here that actually lift it up. And then you've got a separate cable that holds it up that goes to the trigger mechanism. Sorry if the wind noise is bad, it's pretty windy today. But uh, every once in a while, you'll forget to undo your winch line when you uh, set the trap, the weight on your other cables. So I thought maybe I forgot to do that far side, undo that far side winch line. Well, let me show you. There is the winch line, okay? You can see it is not still connected to the trap. What is still connected to the trap is the drop cable. Let me go in. I am not gonna crawl under this because I can't get the safety pin in. So the safety pin's hanging here. Can't get it in because it's behind the uh, the collar there, but I'm not gonna crawl under that because this thing could fall at any second. But I know the problem. Okay, so if it wasn't the winch line, which here's the winch line side that fell, here's the drop cable that was, you know, in this mechanism, this came off while I was the tra trap to fall. So this side, winch line to lift the trap, Here's the cable for the drop mechanism. This one is still under tension, you see that? Let's go back here. So both of these fold in, lay your chain over, and that's what holds the trap mechanism, okay? This is, just clicks into here, releases. This is what's remotely controlled through the app. When this releases, trap flips up, those fall, whatever. This chain right here did not come off of its release where this side just for reference here grab a chain this clips on whatever link you need it to go on <clears throat> when the trap is told to release this chain pops out and everything i can't do it all one-handed but this flips up boom everything falls that wire is kind of in the way right there this one but anyways for whatever reason, this side didn't release fully. And it's all bound up right now. 
So the chain just somehow got in a bind right here. So let me see. It's close. If I could just kick it and make it fall. It's just bound up. I'm probably just gonna have to hook up the winch line, raise it back up. <sighs> And start over. All right, so traps reset, everything's good to go. One of the perks of doing demos like this for a company, I mean, we're not being paid by Big Pig Trap or Hog Eye or anybody. Uh, they sent us these traps. Well, I've got two now. They sent me one a year and a half ago, whatever it was, to do several videos on and demo and test out. And that whole agreement is long past. We're still just using the trap because it works great and I enjoy it. And uh, even though I have been a little frustrated the last several nights i'll get more to that in a second i was able to uh, to call jack and i've been texting back and forth with jack the owner of big pig trap and hog eye cameras and david ellis you know yacht yacht the youtube pig trapper and long story short the cables are backwards i put the chain end on the wrong end and the cable because one end has several chain links so you can adjust the length that goes on the outside and just the, the plain cable hook goes on the release mechanism apparently there are um, youtube demonstration videos from the company that tell you how to do all this stuff i just set it up the way that david taught me and it's worked just fine until it didn't so i put the drop chains the drop cables on the proper way and we're good to go now there is one other little frustration that i've had and that's where it's nice to be able to on my end to be able to do these demos and demonstrate these things and test them out and show them and still be able to communicate with the company you know on a first name basis and call and say here's the problem i'm having and the problem that i've that i've figured out that i have recently is i told you guys two nights in a row i thought i was sleeping through the notifications and the pigs were in here for 30 minutes before i ever even knew it and that's too long well, there's, there's a few different sounds you can make through their app to alert you to something moving in the trap. And one of them is a very, very loud pig squeal. And my wife has told me if I use that notification at night while we're in bed asleep ever again, she might do some very mean things to me in my sleep. So I hadn't been using that, switched it over last night to the loud pig squeal. It is, you, you don't sleep through this. And as soon as the pig squeal went off, I picked up my phone at whatever it was, 11.30, 11.40, something. The pigs were in here. But if you'll notice on that video, there were several pigs laying down. And I was like, they just got there. Why are they laying down in the feed pile? So I went back and looked at all the notifications because it sends a picture every time there's a notification. And those pigs had been in this trap for over 30 minutes. So I called Jack this morning. I'm like, listen. I didn't sleep through the pig squealing sound for 30 minutes, I promise you. I thought I was missing. I thought I was sleeping through those notifications, but really, I don't think I was getting them. And last night was a perfect proof to me. So they're able to go in through the hog eye camera on the back end, see everything that's recorded there. So if I were to walk in front of this thing, you know, naked or something, Jack would see me in Mississippi. So note to self, don't do that. No, no naked pig trapping around here. So they're able to go in check my camera check everything out and see if they can figure out why this camera or maybe many others may not be sending notifications in a timely manner which also in turns helps out all the rest of their hundreds of thousands of customers around the country so i hope they get it figured out real soon because these pigs came in last night we dropped the trap it didn't fall very frustrating situation and then like at 4 a.m they were back they were back here milling around so we didn't spook them off so hopefully tonight we'll go four for four four in a row four nights in a row and we can trap 10 11 12 however many pigs there's a bunch
Ah, we did it. We got, we got them. We got the whole sounder, I think. I have no idea how many pigs we caught in that trap last night, but it was slap full. I'm going to guess probably like 10 at least, maybe more. So I'm headed to go meet Josh right now. We're going to go load these pigs. They're going to be headed off to a hunting ranch. And uh, it's uh, 6.30 this morning. I have to be at the gym at 8 for uh, part 2 CrossFit Open 24.2 is today. I'm excited. It's going to be a great day. I'm a little worked up, a little nervous, but we caught pigs. So we're off to a great start. So let's go get them. Well, well, well. I've been trying to catch up with you guys for a while. Man, we got a bunch of them. They're not real big, but we got a whole pile of pigs today. Maybe just a few more inches. Okay. All right, you guys, count them for me. How many you got? <laughs> when I say your name, say here. Uh, I'll count the big ones, you count the little ones. How about that, Josh? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I think 13. They move too fast. Gates open, ladies and gentlemen. Head on in. There we go. There goes mom. Look at all that. Everyone's invited to the party now. Go ahead and jump in. Oh. There we go. They're thinking about it. Hey, bark like a dog. Only one left. All your buddies are in the trailer. Might as well go jump in too. Got him. Anything, we're making them better because we're giving them penicillin. 
<laughs> Moldy bread. Give him a little antibiotic, huh? <laughs> All right, y'all. Trap is reset, rebated. He's got a whole bunch of molded, out of date bread. 13 pigs. We caught 13 pigs in that one drop. Now, there was one single boar that came in last night early about nine o'clock and i didn't want to drop and catch him because i knew this group would be back so tonight we should probably see him and uh, if he comes in this time we're dang sure going to catch him so anyways guys that's all i've got for today i've got to get around and uh, head to the gym and lose a little bit of my soul so guys do something today to make somebody smile because you never know it just might change the world guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it you guys have a great day and we'll see you on the next video